Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Dear students It's English class Class 5th subject Lesson number 4 Title of lesson is Adolescence Adolescence What does it mean? Adolescence is a period of life When a child develops into an adult The period from puberty to maturity We have observed that a student or a child who is silent, shy, who is introvert at school or at home, when he puts steps from puberty to maturity, sudden and abrupt changes used to occur in them. The way they think, the, their style, their physique, their uh, psychological uh, mentality, each and everything changes. This is a story the story adolescence here is about a boy Joginder who develops into an adult what chance occurred in him in him and how he comes the problems that an adolescent adolescent feels let's start Joginder known as Jogi was a shy and quiet silent boy first of all let me tell you a man psychologically man has been classified into three categories there are three types of men one is introvert introvert is one who is shy who does not express his feelings or who cannot speak with the before a pu before public or before a gathering the, the type of person is introvert number two is extrovert extrovert is one who is bold who is not shy and uh, number third is ambivert ambivert is a person who is both, who has qualities of both, of introvert and extrovert. He is shy as well as bold. Now, let's learn. Ambivert, a person who has a, do, who has a balance of extrovert and introvert features in the personality. Jogender was a shy, he was an introvert person. Jogender. He was known as Jogi. He always remained silent at home, at school. He did not make friends with other persons, other classmates or schoolmates. Though he was good at studies, but he was fond of video games. He was very good at video games. He spent his free time, he spent his leisure time on playing video games. His father was a well-to-do businessman. He had, he has ability to get the latest video games for his son Jogi. When Jogi was about 13 years, he suddenly shot up in height. This is adolescent, adolescence. So in this, different changes occur abruptly. Same was the case with Jogi. He was the tallest boy in class. He was conscious of the way he looked, especially as he was of a lanky frame. Lanky frame means very thin, tall and thin, very tall, just like a skeleton who has no flesh on the body. He was very, he was very thin and was very tall. So he was conscious about his physique. He felt that he was conscious. He felt that people will made fun of him for his physique, for his tallness. So he began. He remained silent. He began to remain. He began to keep quiet. He did not want to talk with anyone. He withdrew completely to talk to someone few times he hardly spoke to anyone at school what was his uh, 
work he attended his classes do his school work and come home and stay in his room this was all that he did he stopped going out altogether his mother yogi's mother noticed that there a change has occurred in him and uh, she conveyed his uh, father yogi's father understood the problem what he has met he started sp spending more time with his son it shows that he was a responsible and caring father he now started to spend more of his time with his son he also enrolled his son in a halat club and start taking yogi with him both father and son would play badminton or squash or do some exercise yogi's father tried to put him out from that very this uh, extra introvertness he tried a lot and uh, try to help him to overcome all the conscience what what was in his intention what was he thinking about his uh, lanky frame what he was thinking about his uh, thinness and uh, his uh, uh, length of the body his father tried to help him to overcome all these absurd things absurd thoughts he also bought a dog for yogi and told him that the dog was totally his responsibility now yogi had another companion that was dog with whom whose responsibility was on the shoulders of yogi gradually he could see the change in yogi finally there occurred some change in yogi he starting going out more often now till he was sitting inside he always spent most of his time inside his room and did not want to, uh, and did not want to talk with some other person or uh, with his classmates he did not want to make friends because of his lanky frame uh, because of his physique he was a uh, introvert he was shy person but with the help of his father he overcame these problems now he started going out more often on his own without support of his father before his father used to accompany him now a confidence occurred in him a confidence developed in him he loved his dog and took him out for long walks he started spending more time on outdoor sports rather than his video games now this change occurred in him because when his father was a caring and loving father all fathers love their children they help them they work for them they afford for them they try to give all pleasures uh, whatever is in their hands but a caring father is one who could understand a single a mere change in his child and uh, could understand what has happened to him and uh, will help him to overcome all this all and would help help to Sorry. it was his father who helped him helped him to overcome even at school now he became more proactive before he was shy now he became more proactive proactive means he became bold frank dynamic and the teachers commented on his growing confidence now teachers were too happy they were now commenting they were discussing about him about his growing confidence yogi now started making friends and even brought them home before he did not want to make friends and uh, he did not dare to <coughs> dare to uh, took them home now he started making friends and brought them home one day when yogi and his friends were out for a walk he stopped and hugged his father and said thank you papa papa was surprised he asked him for what my dear child for what you are thanking me what i have done to you the child yogi replied 
for knowing what indeed when i myself did not know what was happening to me what change had occurred to me and what i need what support i need and how could i overcome this yogi thanked his father for the same <coughs> now at the end there are various themes there or is a there or various lessons we get from that very lesson first of all we get from the lesson that mother is first personality to judge a mere change in children as a yogi's mother could recognize could understood the problem yogi has and it is the mother who is the first personality to judge a mere change in a child and a caring father like yogis support the children in every way to help them to overcome the problem a grown up child faces physical and psychological obstacles with which he is unaware and does not know the solution it is the responsibility of elders to look into the problems and help them to overcome or to find the solution so we must take care just like yogi's father took care of his child and uh, it was it is only pos possible when yogi could overcome this without a support no one could do anything as hazrat ali radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu has quoted that a tree it has branches these all branches are valuable when a branch cuts from the tree it becomes valueless though it is very hard uh, whatever it is it becomes valueless single and without support is only almighty allah who needs no support who needs no help we are human beings we should try we should understand the problems of others and should help them to overcome all these problems thank you have a nice day